and this is very um, new for the United States in this modern era to now accept, to have many, many people accept the idea that the media produces fake news, that the mainstream media in particular produces fake news. Uh, and this is a widespread belief now that is held by Trump supporters. So one of the points I wanna make in this debate or in, sorry, not a debate, in this discussion is that the fake news uh, moniker is really uh, pushed by social media. And social media has become, and I would say the main platforms, Facebook and Twitter in particular, has become one of the most destructive instruments to press freedom uh, that we've known. And it's not just because they are irresponsible in taking down disinformation and clearly fake news, but it's that their business models are built around fake news and emotional news. And that is why I believe, having looked at this quite carefully, that they aren't going to do what they really should do and censor um, uh, media that's not really media and go back to what they say their original mission was, which is having you connect with your family and friends. So I do think that social media is in the, in the, in the cauldron, in the boiling pot of uh, threats to, to press freedom in the United States, and especially during this election.